Mmm. It's mm. so good. It's so good. When it hits your lips. You guys want some? Hi, I'm Sandy, and I'm going to show you a quick weeknight dinner with all the flavors of a summer barbecue. The beans, the slaw, and the barbecue chicken. And I'll bring them all together in one bowl. I'm just going to start by heating my oil here in the quick cooker so I can get my onions sauteed for the barbecue sauce. So you've probably heard of Buddha bowls or grain bowls or even smoothie bowls. Bowl meals are just so popular. But I love this idea of a dinner in a bowl because you can fill it with fresh, colorful foods and they're really fun to eat. The best part is that if you love barbecue flavors but you haven't made barbecue yourself, this is a pressure cooker version. It only takes about 30 minutes. I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to come together. So I'm starting with a three ingredient barbecue sauce. In my opinion, it's really the star of the recipe. I'm just gonna start by prepping my onions. I'm gonna go ahead and slice them in the simple slicer and it cuts them into the perfect sizes. Okay, I'm just gonna give these a little cut in half so they're a little bit more manageable in my sauce. My pan is nice and hot. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt this is what's going to help draw out the moisture of these onions and help get them really cooked and release the flavor too. So these onions you could see are just starting to change color. You could cook these onions for about 20 minutes and get them totally caramelized to add even more flavor to your sauce, but just sauteing them for a couple minutes adds nice flavor. So I love barbecue sauce. It's so delicious, but it can have a lot of sugar. Now to me, making your own barbecue sauce just makes me feel really cool. And this one is so simple. We just have about a cup of ketchup, we're gonna have some apple cider vinegar, and some smoky barbecue rub. Plus those onions that are sauteing, and it's that easy. Now I love this sauce because you don't have to pre-mix it in a separate bowl. I'm just gonna add everything to the quick cooker and stir it all up. So I think these onions are looking good. I'm gonna add my cup of ketchup. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of the smoky barbecue. I've actually tried our smoky applewood rub with this recipe too, which also works great, but I really like the extra tang in the barbecue rub. And then two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. So with pressure cooking, all the steam in the pot really locks in all those flavors, especially in this barbecue sauce, and makes it that much more flavorful. I'm gonna add just a half a cup of water. This is gonna help create more steam and pressure so that everything cooks. And then I'm gonna hit cancel and start prepping my chicken. So you can use chicken thighs or chicken breasts in this recipe, but personally, I love chicken thighs. They're tender, they're hard to overcook, and they're generally more affordable than chicken breasts. You don't even have to season these thighs at all because all the flavor from the sauce seasons them perfectly. So now I'm gonna prep my beans. I have a can and a half of black beans right here. So since canned beans are already pre-cooked, I'm really just warming them up in this recipe. I did rinse these really well to get off some of the sodium. So I'm just gonna juice some lime right into the beans. It's such an easy way to jazz them up without adding any extra sodium. And put them in the pot with the chicken. So I'm just cooking it on the chicken and poultry setting for seven minutes. So first I'm gonna start with my dressing for the coleslaw. I'm using the creamy dressing that's right on the bottle of the measure, mix, and pour. But I'm just gonna swap the red wine vinegar with apple cider vinegar since we used it in the sauce. So I just have three quarters of a cup of Greek yogurt. This is a really classy creamy dressing that's gonna go great with the slaw and pair nicely with the tangy flavors of the barbecue sauce. Okay, then I have three quarters cup of buttermilk. And I have a tablespoon of that apple cider vinegar. I love that this dressing is right on the bottle so you don't have to memorize anything. Then I have a teaspoon of Dijon. Dijon mustard is my favorite. Gives a little kick to dressings and sauces. A little bit of salt. And we've got about two teaspoons of sugar. A little bit of pepper. Give this just a little shake. It's good to go. So I love using just pre-prepped bags of coleslaw. It's just so easy. And you can customize them too if you wanna add more vegetables, like more carrots or more cabbage. They're really just a great blank canvas. 
So I have about a can of pineapple tidbits. It's sort of an unexpected addition to this recipe, but I knew I really wanted to add pineapple to the recipe and I just couldn't find a good place to add it. And I thought, why not add it to the slaw? And it actually works really great. You drain the juice from the can because you don't want to water down the dressing. The pineapple actually makes the slaw really more beautiful, adds a little pop of color and nice texture. So cilantro is actually one of my favorite herbs. I love it so much, it adds so much freshness to so many different recipes. I'm using just about a cup of cilantro for this slaw. Now with cilantro, you don't have to be perfect when you're picking the leaves off the stem. If you get a couple stems in the mix, it's okay. They taste fine and they're not gonna hurt you. Oh, this cilantro just adds the right amount of color to this slaw, makes it even prettier. You only use about a half of this dressing, keep the rest for later. This is smelling so fresh. I can't wait to try it with the chicken. So avocado is optional in this recipe, but honestly, I love to add it to just about everything. These avocados look really good. You know, when we create recipes, it's not just about the flavor. It's a lot about the presentation and the different texture. It's really fun to add different garnishes to make that plated recipe a little bit more special. So now that the chicken and the beans are ready, I'm gonna go ahead and press cancel and release the pressure. So I'm gonna remove this chicken to a bowl and just chop it up. It's okay if you get some of the onions in there, they'll get nice and chopped too. Okay, then I'm gonna turn my quick cooker to sear so I can reduce this sauce and thicken it up. You'll be glad you used chicken thighs, I'm telling you. So when the chicken comes out, the sauce is still a little bit thin. So I'm gonna cook it a little bit longer on the sear setting to reduce it. So reducing just means to thicken and really intensify the flavor of a sauce or a liquid. Just think about it. The longer that you reduce it, the more water evaporates and the more concentrated the flavor becomes. And that's really what we want in this barbecue sauce. So whenever I bring this meal home, which I have done a couple times, I tell my husband, we're having barbecue chicken. And then he asks, is it the barbecue chicken? And he gets super excited. My son actually likes to eat it wrapped up in a tortilla, which is great about this recipe. You can really customize how you want to serve it. All right, that's looking pretty thick. Just gonna hit cancel, add my chicken back in. Okay, so let's serve this up. I love that people can really customize how they serve this bowl. You could have more slaw if you want, but it all looks so pretty when it's put together. The star of the show. Looks so good. The top of my avocado. So when I started creating this recipe, I actually had this all served on a bun with the slaw and the beans on the side, which again, you could do because it's so easy to customize. I mean, a look at that. So even though I'm not a big griller or barbecuer, this barbecue chicken recipe makes me feel like I can bring some weekend cookout vibes to a busy weeknight. And serving it in bowls like this is so easy and customizable for everyone. I cannot wait to eat this and I hope you try it out too.